Welcome everybody to another JDM racing video. It's round 18 here in Austin, Texas, and we're in Q1 to see if we can get through into the next round of qualifying. Um, we've been going pretty well in these sorts of tracks, so I mean it is a balance between the high speed corners okay, and the straights. But I have a feeling that we're gonna with the upgrades that we've made we're going to be making some decent progress, so let's see if we manage to get through right now. Here we are then in one of the fastest growing cities in the United States, the fabulous Austin in the great state of Texas. The circuit itself 14 miles southeast of the city center and home to the US Grand Prix since 2012. The latest in a long list of iconic tracks to have that honor. We're racing today then in Travis County, Texas, around the 20 corners of the wonderful circuit of the Americas. We'll be reaching speeds of around 200 miles an hour, and there are plenty of good opportunities to pass, especially through the two DRS zones into turn one and the very long back straight into turn 12. It's race day yet again, and joining me for a chat, Anthony Davidson. Ant, our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching for as they go down into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start, and this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Perez, Leclerc, Lando Norris and Gasly, Vettel, Verstappen. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Stroll and Gardner. Sainz, they've taken a grid penalty. Giovinazzi, Kimi Raikkonen and Russell. Ricardo, Eilert, Mick Schumacher and Nicholas Latifi. Ocon, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Mazepin, Sonoda and Fernando Alonso rounds off the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Well, getting to the business end of the season, we're definitely get, seeing all the grid penalties coming. Um, <clears throat> we're going to do same again. 14 and a half laps for fuel. Um, weather looks dry throughout. 7 and 7. I'm going to shorten that slightly. Just because it's the softer compound on the first stint. And yeah, I think to be honest, we're in P10, we're in the points, we've got to try, I know it hasn't felt as quick around here as it did around Suzuka, um, I think the power unit probably has something to do with that, but I'm hoping race pace generally is better for us than qualifying, if we can just hang in there, might be able to get some points, we just have to wait and see, let's do it. That was the best getaway in the world. There comes the 
Alfa Romeo. We somehow managed to deal with the Red Bull. Russell gets alongside and we go head long along the curbs. up to fifth so it ended up after turn one being quite a good uh, start for us and I wonder if there's been contact back there because there's quite a gap now between the top five and the rest of the pack <coughs> Leclerc is behind us Seconds back, Gasly in seventh. He's got past Russell, so we do have a bit of a gap to the rest of the pack. That's going to help us out. Max Verstappen breaking his front wing. He's going to have to pit to fix that one. error on the opening lap he was already down the pack anyway and now he's going to have to pit Max Verstappen to fix his front wing this is going to throw his strategy all out as well his title hopes fade in by the second and now he's going to have a massive job on his hands and the Williams gets out in front of him as well nightmare for Max Verstappen at this US Grand Prix. Oh, bounced over the curb there. get it wrong in there you really get it wrong in there that's the problem with this track We're quite a lonely fifth place at the moment Stappen's going to be uh, back in the pack as well which is really bad news for his title aspirations with uh, Bottas and the two Mercedes leading out front. I wonder if Leclerc's got damage because we seem to be pulling away from him. Which doesn't seem right. In fact, Gasly seems to be catching Leclerc. So... I'm not sure, maybe he's got engine problems, something's going on with that Ferrari. Teammate status? Gap to teammate behind is 16.4 seconds. They're on fresh softs, they're in 15th. The time last lap was a 1 minute 35.9.
Please stay clear of the white line on the exit. See these tires through to the end now. Oh, we come out right in the pack, just behind Callum. So Leclerc was in, Gasly was in. Jump those guys. Callum, get him out of the way. Okay, a couple of them healing off. That's good news for us. Callum is in the pits. Callum in the pits. Here comes Gasly with the DRS. on the apex. Gasly all over the back of us now. DRS, what's he going to be able to do with it? We have five laps of fuel remaining. Locked his brakes there a little bit. Okay, focus. We need to stay on form. Vettel 11 seconds back, so we're actually having a really strong race. You have to remember the Alpha Tori is a very very much faster car than ours. And Gasly is a really phenomenal driver as well. <coughs> so, can't be too displeased to give up the position to him, but we might have a go back at him. Uh, 
I think he was, he's going to sail off into the uh, distance now, though. Too fast for us today. Trying to cling onto the back of Gasly. Just haven't quite, quite got the pace. Gap to car in front is 1.6 seconds. Lewis Hamilton takes the checkered flag. So Lewis Hamilton in the Mercedes, has been in a class of his own today. He's going to lead his teammate across the line for a 1-2. Mercedes power. Lewis Hamilton wins the US Grand Prix. Sixth place. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Ferme. Absolutely amazing. I don't know how we've done it. A truly magnificent drive and a great performance from the entire team to secure the win here in Austin. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? I really feel the track layout, combined with the track temperatures we saw today, suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature, and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So Lewis with the victory, Bottas was second, Perez with third, where was Max? I think that's going to be a Bottas first in the championship. Valtteri Bottas passes his rival to take over the lead of the Drivers' Championship. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I think it has to be Fernando Alonso. He got the strategy spot on and consistently had the pace to come through as well. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one. All right, Lewis Hamilton with his second win of the season and fastest lap takes 26 points ahead of his teammate Valtteri Bottas Sergio Perez third for Red Bull so the Red Bull conceding the Constructors Championship as well it looks like at the moment at least Lando Norris great result for him in fourth it's probably about the best he could have hoped for in the McLaren today Gasly a great result as well for Alfa Tori in fifth so that's 10 points for them brilliant we get our best result of this season sixth place after starting 10th our pace was good I mean ad admittedly wasn't on the uh, the ultimate pace as you can see from the best lap times there wasn't on uh, par with the top five but we pretty much were we'd beat everybody else other than maybe Stroll and Ricardo below us but on pace, we were generally pretty good. We maxed, uh, we we matched Max's Verstappen's time, pretty much. Um, only 500 slower, so Max got stuck down in the pack, and um, Alonso up from the back as well to 13th. That's why he got driver of the day. Max stuck down the pack, and his championship just looks to be slipping away. Vettel seventh. That's a great result a double points finish for Aston Martin as well so 
it's uh they equalize the points so my eight points for six they've cancelled them out so we didn't gain any ground on Aston Martin Alfa Romeo Giovinazzi I believe that's their first points of the season so a great result for them uh, and Ricardo rounding out the top 10 in the final point Leclerc don't know what happened with him don't know what happened with that Ferrari should have been quicker today um, 12th and 13th for Alpine not the best weekend for them Verstappen disaster Callum Eilert four seconds back he comes home 15th Carlos Sainz 16th so a nightmare weekend for Ferrari all in all Kimi Raikkonen couldn't match his teammate today Giovinazzi was right on it Kimi couldn't match him maybe he was stuck in the pack Sonoda 18th Schumacher 19th the Williamses and Haas with Mazepin at the back so the championship Valtteri Bottas is now 12 points in front of Max Verstappen Lewis Hamilton within a win away 22 points behind so three horse race Perez has dropped out of the running after his good mid-season form faltered in the second half of the season Landon Norris and Daniel Ricciardo fifth and eighth the two Ferraris sixth and seventh so I mean Alonso quite comfortably outscoring Ocon Ocon's going to have that seat next year for Alpine I don't know who's going to come in in the other seat but Alonso he's got to rethink retirement because he's doing really really well in that Alpine we go up to 20 points now just one point behind Lance Stroll we might be able to nick it off him and then Giovinazzi yes gets his first points of the season constructors Mercedes pull away at the front McLaren leapfrog Ferrari after Ferrari's dismal weekend this time round and we I mean we're pulling away from the bottom three but we keep getting cancelled out chasing Aston Martin so we're gonna have to make do with eighth again for now let's check the highlights so lights out Hamilton got a good start we were dealing with the charging Williams up the inside of Russell oof just clipped a little bit there there was oh there's wing damage in there somebody got wing damage this was the pit stop I actually thought we were gonna hit Callum here so I had to stamp on the brakes a little bit extra almost almost meant that uh, I think was that Gasly one of the Alpha Tories we almost hit as well we survived it then we were just on the chase to try and uh, make up the positions and not lose any places in the pit stops ultra slow mo concentration on the face of the Garbo 83 coming across the line sixth season best career best season best everything best amazing result didn't think we were going to get it uh, didn't think we had the pace there but I don't know something over the longer runs um, we just had pace to spare today so great result um, really really g'd up by that and uh, couldn't have come at a better time to be honest so if you like the video leave a little thumbs up likey like um, subscribe if you haven't already for more JDM racing action and as always thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch JDM videos and come along the journey with me to try and make this team great again
We're going to get there. We will get there. Um, this is, I mean, sixth. This is a big leap forward. This may just be a blip, but certainly with Ferrari not being on form, that's, that was a big part of it as well, I think. But, yeah, um, we'll have to see how it pans out in the next couple of races, but I feel good. This car feels good. It's developed well. Uh, looking forwards. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next JDM racing video. Thanks for watching, guys.